So in this lecture, I'm going to talk about Nenad Picker Potential. In that day lectures, I talk about uh, scalar potential, vector potential, and then retarded potential. And in case of retarded potential, basically rho xt and j xt or x times t, these will describe the or these will describe the microscopically sorry microscopically so this leads to microscopic description of the system but if we have to deal with the point charges as we did in case of antennas that means we need a microscopic description of the system point charges means we have to deal with the motion of the electrons and protons etc and that means microscopic description of the system must be needed so that means we have to modify the potential or the recast the potential for such a case so recasting of potential for such a system or the modified potential for such a case is known as linear bicut potential linear bicut potential or in more precise form one can say that the retarded potential potential for the relativistically moving electron electron are called <coughs> linear vicar potential So we have to start with the to derive this. We have to start with the retarded potential. So consider a retarded potential. This is the scalar potential, and now I am writing expression for vector potential. So, 
let us let me express this equation number one and equation number two where the t prime is known as retarded time and it must be equal to t minus x minus x prime mod by t right so if we have to move towards a or we have to switch over from row to a is a charge density towards the electron so for this what i have to do so let us consider a electron is moving with some velocity u let us consider the coordinate system and let this coordinate system an electron is moving in this manner and initially it will be here and this i express as x not p not is the initial position of the electron and after some time this will be here so i want to find out the potential at this point because of this moving charge at this point p and corresponding to t not its position will be r t not and say it is this say it is x so that's what will happen so now let electron is moving with the velocity u and initial velocity can be represented as u t not and this is equal to x not t not curly x not t not over curly t not at time t is equal to t not and p is the observation point at which i am interested to find out the potential at the present time t so for this what we will do we will replace or we will use the delta function because in delta function we are not going to talk about in the neighborhood of something but we are going to talk about at a particular point so for that we have redefined the potential as a scalar potential in this form and here we have to place the multiplied with the delta function so this is the way that how we have defined this in this case and the charge density the charge density can be expressed as because the charge is only due to the electron so that's why this can be expressed as e multiplied by delta function because electron is situated at at x is equal to x naught right so this is a way that how we have defined this charge density in this case so and here this integral is uh, replaced by double integral because this one integral corresponds to space and another corresponds to time so therefore this potential will become a 
if we use this value here then this can be written as that x is equal to x naught and t is equal to t naught so this can be expressed as t minus x minus x naught mod by c is simply the properties of delta function which we are using here so need not to worry you can use these as it is so if i integrate it over space is then this will become over space if i am integrating then its integral over space is nothing but is 1 so that means x will become because integral of this delta function is nothing but 1 it is a property of delta function so it will become now let us define this quantity as now here i Define this term as z uh, z, so that means z is equal to t naught. This is to make the life simple. Right. So let me call it as this. And here the t is a constant. So if I take the differential of it, then it is t t naught. its derivative is differential will be zero because i am taking it as constant so 1 by c d over dt not x minus x not so now let us define this or let us try to modify or sorry simplify it so for the simplification of this what i will do let me call it as r so it is d by dt not into r and in terms of gradient so this one if, if i want to incorporate gradient into it then for that what i can do i can express it as summation over i curly over curly x not i it is x minus x not x mod because if i want to incorporate it into gradient so that means i have to operate it with this here in the denominator so that these will a type of cancellation type and it will remain as it is dimensionally and this is nothing but this is the gradient this is the gradient part so it can be written as gradient so this is a way that how things can be expressed but also i know that that gradient of r mod is equal to r by r but here i am taking gradient with respect to x not and here it is a minus sign so keeping this in mind this will become what this will become r minus 
over r its a magnitude of r and i may call it as u u is the velocity so that means this will become u dot r by r with the negative sign so substituting this value here is i is equal to dt not it can be taken outside so it is 1 minus this one therefore pi x t it will become e delta xi d xi over r minus beta r this is a vector quantity right so this is the expression for it so it is equal to simply e over r minus theta r x z is equal to 0 and if i use value of z is equal to 0 here then from this what i am getting x t not must be equal to t minus r by c so that means it is equal to e over r it is a t not minus beta t not and r t not T not is equal to T by sorry T minus R by C. So this is the expression for this retarded potential. Sorry, uh, this is the scalar potential modifies to a new type of potential for the electron. And in the similar fashion, I can write down expression for vector potential. so it is e u by c and that t not is equal to t minus r by c so that means this is one expression and another expression as i derived so it is a uh, what e over r minus beta r at t not is equal to t minus r by c these are the two equations these two potentials the these two modified potentials these are co called linear dicot potential and as clear from this that these depends on the velocity of the charge and are independent of the detailed structure so that means they simply depending upon the velocity right so with this the expression for linear weaker potential will be completed so thanks